Can breathwork help with stress and anxiety? That's the topic of today's video, people, and the answer is yes, it absolutely can help with stress and anxiety. And all, there's all different types of breathwork and they all kind of help with stress and anxiety, but there is one particular type that I focus on, that I do, that I've dedicated my life to for the last decade because it changes lives in one session. In one session, it, the results are immediate and undeniable. The most common statement after my classes is, oh my God, that felt like 20 years of therapy without having to say a word. So if you haven't done one of my classes yet, you need to come do that. I do them on Zoom every Sunday morning and there's a 72 hour replay after that afterwards because you know I don't know what time zone you're in so you can't make the 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. There's a 72 hour replay, okay? That's enough on the class. Let's talk about stress. Let's talk about anxiety and how breathwork helps with that. Um, stress is really just a fancy word for fear. There, I said it. It's an acceptable word in society. I'm stressed out, I'm, I'm stressed at work, right? What are we saying? What is stress? It's really just a fancy word for fear. I'm stressed out about work. Why are you stressed out about work? Well, I'm stressed that, you know, I'm gonna get fired from my job. Well, that's really about fear. You're, you're fearful that you're gonna lose your job and you're not gonna be able to support yourself. So stress is really just a fancy word for fear. And breath work, that circular breath work that I teach is this incredible tool that will help you clear out that fear, clear out that stress. It will turn off your brain and put you into your heart and get you to a place where everything is okay, no matter what. No matter what situation is happening currently in your life right now, breath work will put you into the now, like Eckhart Tolle in The Power of Now is always talking about, right? Everything is fine in the now. It's when we get into the future, when we start worrying about the future, or we get stuck in the past, right? So I've heard it said a lot that depression is about being stuck in the past, dragging around the past, and anxiety is about future tripping, worrying about the future, things that haven't happened yet. But if we get into this moment right here, right now, this moment where you're with me watching this video, everything is fine. Everything is fine in this breath, in this moment. It's when we start to get up into our heads and we start future tripping and I don't have a time machine, so I have no business in the future. And breath work, it really puts you in the moment. This incredible technique will put you in the moment. It's like doing some sport that you have to be super present for, right? Like if you're surfing or I do uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and I am so present in the moment when somebody's trying to choke me or I'm trying to choke somebody else when I'm doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, my brain turns off and I'm just completely focused on what I'm doing. I cannot think about the bills and the problems or whatever issues are going on in my life. It puts me completely in the moment and breath work is this incredible tool just like that where you can lay down on the floor and breathe in this way and after you do it for a certain amount of time, it puts you right in the moment where it, you are not stressed, you are not in anxiety and it has this afterburner effect for sometimes for a couple days, sometimes for a couple hours it's where you will feel amazing, it will clear your stress, it will clear your anxiety for a certain length of time. Usually the minimum is the rest of that day but oftentimes it can be longer. So breath work is the best tool I have ever found for stress and anxiety. I often have that theme as my class on Sundays. I have themes for my Sunday classes and it doesn't really matter what the theme is. If the theme is breath work to clear stress and anxiety or breath work, you know, for love and abundance, the breath work is going to give you whatever it is that you need at that time when you're doing the class. So if you have a situation going on in your life that you need clarity on, like a relationship issue or a work issue, and you don't know what to do, if you lay down and set the intention, like I need clarity on this relationship, I need clarity on this work situation, you're gonna have that clarity when you come up. Why is that? We're in the head, we're in our head, arguing with ourselves about the situation, about what we should do, and we're like two different lawyers fighting about the case. But when you do breath work, it kind of turns off all those things in your head and moves you into your heart, which is another operating system that you can operate your life from. And you can make decisions from your heart. And oftentimes, I think all times, the big decisions in our lives, relationship, career, whatever, should be made from the heart. So breath work will help you turn off your head and move into your heart. And the heart will give you the answer it is that you're looking for, for that situation. 
So if it's a relationship question, if it's a you know work question, do the breathing, turn off your brain, move into their heart, and the answer is right there and it's clear for you waiting. You know, and then our head might turn back on and be like, oh, I don't want to get a new job or I don't want to start going back online and looking for people online again and trying to meet someone. And that's your fear. That's your fear turning back on and kicking in and making you scared. So what do I do? I lay down and I breathe again and I turn off that fear and I move back into my heart where everything is going to be fine. And I operate my life from that. Now, our brain is great. It makes, helps us make some great decisions. It helps create awareness around us of like protecting our surroundings. And you know, if we're in a dangerous situation or whatever, our brain is amazing. But for big decisions in our life, I think we should try and move into our heart. And you can actually integrate the two. You can integrate your brain and your heart together and use them together to operate your life from. That's what I have done through this breath work. I was up in my head all the time thinking, overthinking, worrying about situations, not sleeping well at night, stressing myself out so much that I lost all my hair. Alopecia is brought on by stress, by trauma. So if you don't think that your emotions and your stress can affect your health, then go find my eyebrows because they're gone. And they're gone because of alopecia. And some people will say like, well, now you do breath work. Aren't they coming back? Well, my hair's been gone for 20 years. I don't really want it to come back. I don't really care anymore. I've let go. I became a different person when I lost all my hair. And I like that person that I am today because it really taught me uh, that I was overvaluing outside appearances, outside things. And so the real work is done on the inside. Happiness, fulfillment, purpose is an inside job. And so breath work will get you to that place. It will show you what happiness and purpose and fulfillment really means for you. It's different for everybody, but doing the work from the inside out is really how you want to do the work in your life. You can't change your life. You can't really fix your life from the outside in. You can buy things and you can try different things from the outside in, but it's never going to fix how you feel on the inside. It's an inside job. And so you have to work from the inside out and breath work is the best tool that I've ever found to work from the inside out. So I hope you're doing it on a regular basis. I hope you're coming to my classes sometime. I'd love to meet you. I'd love to hear more. Comment below on what you thought of the video, like, follow, subscribe, all that stuff. And I hope to see you soon.